And ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're back up. I'm not sure what happened there. We lost our signal, evidently. The problem with being on internet, television, and radio is once in a while, the system just bumps us out. But we are back, ladies and gentlemen, and we're back about prayer. If you would like to join us in prayer, pick up your phone and call 712-432-1690. 712-432-1690. Put in your access code, 399-430-POUND, and you'll be able to join us. Now, in the meantime, if you'd like to join me on my cell phone, it's laying right here on my desk. You can reach me at 714-865-8132. 714-865-8132. I'll put you on speakerphone and let you talk to me right here live on the air. And uh, we would encourage you to do that. Now, by the way, we are here in support. When I say we, yours truly, Wiley Drake, Chairman of the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C., and Co-Chair Dr. Clyde Rivers, who is also the Ambassador for the African country of Burundi, and in his duties, he's on his way to Ethiopia. You remember the scripture talking about Ethiopia. You remember the Ethiopian eunuch, and so forth. Now, we, though, are here, the chairman, the co-chairman, our deputy prayer warriors all over the nation. We have one particular deputy prayer warrior right here in our facility because he heads up a thing called First Responders Prayer Team. And I would be derelict in my duty if I didn't say to you, Brother Peter Maxson is our deputy prayer warrior for the first responders prayer team. And I would say, Lord Jesus, I pray for Peter Maxson. And I pray as he goes to minister to those first responders, military, police, fire, and paramedics. We want to minister to them and we want to share with them. And by the way, we had another gentleman on with us the other day. I want to share with you about him his name is E.W. Jackson, great, mighty man of God. And he is also not only has what we call the First Responders Prayer Team, but he has a prayer team that he launched called Prayer for Police. And we agree with that, and we associate with him, and we fellowship with him. Ladies and gentlemen, he will be one of the attenders. He is going to be in Baton Rouge in January, and I'll be there, Lord willing, and we would encourage you to come. Go to American Project, American, <laughs> I can't remember the name of it, American Renewal. I should remember that word renewal because that's what we were talking about a while ago when we were talking about Second Chronicles 7.14. The American Renewal Project is new to me. That's why I forgot. But it is an answer to prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, since the year 2000, we have been praying for this renewal project for America. We've been praying for it. And God now, I believe, is answering our prayer. I want to let everybody know that I am already signed up. And it's a first-come, first-served basis, and I hope you'll sign up. Go online to the American Renewal Project. American Renewal Project. Join it. And by the way, if you want to go to E.W. Jackson's page and website, you can go to his at stand. S-T-A-N-D, America, dot U-S. You know what that stands for? It stands for what's going on. 
president of STAND, S-T-A-N-D, staying true to America's national destiny. By the way, that bishop, that pastor, ran for office just not too far back. And we praise the Lord for that. He's one pastor that started putting it into practice like I did and like others did. So we encourage you, go to standamerica.us and go to American Renewal Project. America Renewal Project is the title of it. American Renewal Project. American Renewal Project. Go to that and check it out. You can also find information on the web from uh, uh, Response uh, Louisiana as well and, and Governor Bobby Jindal and so forth. So go there. Now, before we move away from my good friend E.W. Jackson, I want to share with you a card that I want to encourage. I'm, on a, I'm, I'm a preacher, folks, and I preach to do things, and I practice what I preach. I talked yesterday to my dear brother E.W. Jackson, and he has agreed to send me some of the cards that he is using and that I'm going to be using as soon as I get them. And I would encourage you to do the same thing. These are a card that's entitled Police Officer's Prayer. I believe God gave us this. It doesn't come out of the Bible, but all the principles do. It doesn't come out of the Bible, but it does come out of a man who believes in the Bible. It does come from the heart of God, though, I believe. And I would share that police officer's prayer. And I would encourage you to go to standamerica.us and just put in their prayer for, for, prayer for police and get your cards. I'm anxiously awaiting mine. When the job is hard, when the pressure is great, when you wonder, does anyone appreciate? Just know that for all the work you do, police officer, someone is praying and thinking of you. Wiley Drake, E.W. Jackson, etc., Someone is praying and thinking of you. For your duty and honor in difficult times, like today, God in heaven makes his face to shine. He looks upon you from above to inspire you with courage and love. May he give you the strength to make one more round at the end of your shift to go home safe and sound. May you fight the good fight and live by his grace. When your work here on earth is done, you'll see his loving face. You see, just a few days ago, just 11 days ago, Officer Lou and Officer Ramos saw the very face of God because they died and went home to be with the Lord. Now, why did they die? I don't know. But I do know what happened. The individual that did what he did, did earlier that day, he killed his significant others significant other, whatever that is, I'm not sure, a female. And then he went to the police car there in New York City. They were in a marked police car. I don't know if it was black and white or white and blue or whatever, but it was in a marked police car. And they were seated there on overtime on Saturday the 20th. And this Quran-motivated, demonic-motivated, pedophilia motivated walked up to the car 
took a handgun and shot and assassinated both Officer Lou and Officer Romo, and then ran like a coward and stopped on a subway station platform and shot his own self in the head, killed himself. What a coward. What a tragedy. But those two men that died are seeing the loving face of my Lord and my Savior today. The man who assassinated them is burning in a very hot place in hell. He is in hell because he did not know Jesus. He's not in hell because he killed two policemen. He's in hell because he didn't know Jesus. Killing the policemen were just a part of his sin. But he went to hell because he didn't know Jesus. Allah won't get you to heaven. Buddha won't get you to heaven. But a personal relationship with Jesus Christ will. Now, I want to encourage you to continue to pray with us. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Renewal Project is our newest prayer target. Our newest prayer. We have many prayer targets. Let me just tell you some of our prayer targets. One of our prayer targets is Operation Outcry, the Justice Foundation in San Antonio, Attorney Alan Parker. Another one of our targets is Father Frank Provone and our dear, dear sister Alveda King at Priest for Life. Another target is not only the Congressional Prayer Conference, but another prayer target is National Prayer Embassy Tour with Jeff Wright there in Washington, D.C. That's one of our prayer targets. And in fact, if you're ever in Washington on Sunday, every Sunday morning, Pastor Jeff Wright gives a two-hour tour of our nation's capital, taking you by the Vietnam Wall, taking you by the White House, taking you down Embassy Row, taking you all the way out to Arlington, taking you all over a two-hour tour of our nation's capital called the National Prayer Embassy. It's done in a 15-passenger van. Down in February, our target will be not only Brother Jeff Wright and the van in D.C., but he'll be out here. He's going to be out here to be a part of our Hollywood prayer tour. You see, uh, that's going to happen in February. On February the 6th, uh, Brother Jeff will be out here, 6, 7, and 8 will be out here uh, to lead our Hollywood prayer network. We have many prayer targets. One of our other prayer targets is a big target. <laughs> a big target with a big heart and a great love for God and a great love for lost people. And that is James L. McCullough a.k.a. the hitchhiker. The hitchhikers hitchhiked all over the world, literally. And he continues to do that. And so he's one of our prayer targets. We have another prayer target, a man by the name of David Andrade. David Andrade. And I'm not looking at notes, I'm just recalling from God's prayer targets in my heart, in my mind. My dear friend David Andrade is a prayer target. I put a target on him, and I pray for him every day. And every day, every day, at 8.15 p.m., I'm sorry, 9.15, 9.15 a.m., 9.15 a.m., we place a target on 100 senators. At 9.15, 9.15, Washington, D.C. time, the target is on every senator by their first and last name. And we target them and pray for them. 
beginning with Alaska, going all the way through Wyoming, the alphabetical list. And then we target 435 members of the U.S. House of Representatives. And by the way, I have another target, another prayer target there in Washington, is a dear, sweet sister by the name of Ruth Mizell. I target Ruth every day because we pray for her, because she takes people in Washington, D.C. as a former spouse of a congressman. She's allowed to do this, and she takes them into the chapel, into the church of the United States House of Representatives, and she's one of my prayer targets. I also have another prayer target over on 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. His name is Barry Satoro and Barack Hussein Obama. And my target for him is that Jesus Christ will reveal himself and that Barack Hussein Obama will come to know Jesus in the fullness of salvation. We have many, many other targets. We target our whole nation. We target all 50 states. We target the American Renewal Project. We target Response Louisiana and Response other parts of the nation and the world. We target, we have a target, we have a prayer target. I also target another man in Washington that we talked about a while ago, and that's a fellow by the name of Tony Perkins. I remember going to Louisiana when Tony was trying to get a bill passed called Covenant Marriage. So I've been to Louisiana before. I also target Tony because he's the leader and the shepherd of a flock called Family Research Council. And in that Family Research Council is another one of our dual prayer targets. There's a dual prayer target there of Pierre Bynum and his dear wife Christine. You see, Pierre is the chaplain, and Christine is the chaplainette <laughs> of the Family Research Council. And we could go on and on. I also have another prayer target on the hill and his name is Dick Simmons. Dick and Barbara Simmons were on the hill for many years. And not too long after my Barbara went home to be with the Lord, Dick's Barbara went home to be with the Lord. There's another group of people on the hill that are our prayer targets. Reverend Rob Shank, who is our missionary on the hill with faith in action. And Reverend Patrick Mahoney, is also on our target. And one of the dear, sweet sisters in the Lord, Peggy Neenamer, and her dear sister, and the other staff there in the Faith and Action Office. You see, I target them for two reasons. I target them to pray for them because I love them. But I also target them because they allow me to use their office when I'm on the hill. They're on the hill every day as missionaries. I only go about once a month. But when I'm there, not only does Family Research Council allow me the use of their prayer room, but Faith in Action allows me the use of their prayer room as well. Many other prayer targets that I'm not able to remember right now I would have to have my list in order to tell you who they are. Ladies and gentlemen, in about uh, 19 minutes, this prayer session will be over. I would encourage you, though, uh, to join us in reference to these prayer targets. I have another prayer target that I pray for every day and ask you to pray for on a regular basis. And that is a news media outlet. In my opinion, as a communications educated pastor, as a broadcaster, as a manager, I want to recommend to you 
in my opinion, the greatest news service in the world. Now, there's many other good ones, and there's a bunch that ain't worth nothing. CNN means certainly not the news. The rest of them are not very good either, but there are some that are good. And one of them, one of them is Christian Newswire. ChristianNewswire.com Now, uh, there's also one of their news reports out today that I want to share with you, and that says simply this. 2014 was the year elitist judicial grinches stole the people's vote on God and ordained marriage between a man and a woman. Peter LaBibera is another one of my prayer targets that I pray for. Great mighty man of God, Americans for the Truth about sodomy. Now, the name of their organization is Americans for Truth About Homosexuality. But y'all know my bend on that. I don't like to use that because nothing homosexual about sodomy. Sodomy is a sin. The year 2014 in America saw an unprecedented overreach by the judiciary. And we'll not go through that today. We don't have time. Maybe we'll talk more about that on tonight's program. You'll hear some other prayer targets uh, tonight on the program. We'll be back at 5 o'clock. Bot Radio Network reaches, let me get this, Bot Radio Network reaches 100 stations with the launch of three new stations. In December. Check them out, ladies and gentlemen. Bot Radio Network. I don't know much about them, but I've heard some good things about them. Most of what I've heard has been very, very good. We want you to know, folks, one of our prayer targets is ChristianNewsWire.com. Christian Newswire. Dot com. And it says, warning, uh, uh, poor ne 